The ringtails, so, the Bolivian ringtails have just started nesting. They already laid all their eggs and there is a mother in there right now. And this mom is going to run right now very, very quickly into the water because that is the safe spot right now to stay away from the trumpeters. So there they go. Bounce all in. So there they go. And the Mandarin male is up top. He is all ugly now. He is not pretty. He's completely out of breeding colors. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on just about the whole entire aviary. As you guys know, we made this aviary, uh, the pond we started about a year and a half ago now, and then we were able to put a net up probably around eight months ago. And then on top of that, we were able to start getting birds for our enclosure. And around six months ago, we were able to start getting our waterfowl. And some of the waterfowl that we have in here has already started laying eggs and producing babies. And yes, producing babies, producing chicks, I would say producing ducklings. That's the word I was looking for. And the first ones to go, if you guys have been following me along on all the other videos from before, we've been updating you on all different things that have been going on inside of this enclosure. The first up, the ones, the first ones to hatch out were our silver wood duck so let's enter inside right now i wasn't able to get all the footage from the reactions of me getting them right when i saw them they actually hatched out yesterday 24 hours ago and i was over there with a buddy of mine from birds exotics of the world we were inside of there real quick and i was like hey what's up uh i got a bunch of african cichlids that we just saved if you guys haven't seen that video yet make sure you guys check out that video we saved a bunch a bunch of monster african cichlids so before i get to work you guys i know a lot of you guys like to fish but a lot of you aren't able to go and explore different areas. But that all could change with today's sponsor, Fishing Clash. Thanks to them, I'm able to keep on doing the things I love here on the ranch. Fishing Clash is a mobile game that is all about fishing. You can travel all over the world and fish the craziest places all from your home. So go download Fishing Clash down in the description or go use my QR code. And from April 18th to the 25th, it is Earth Week. This event starts with deforestation and contamination of the skin of the Amazon fishery. With your help playing, you get help donate real money to Ecosia and support the combat against deforestation and contamination of the seas. So you guys know that I've been to the Amazon and the Amazon is getting destroyed every single day by us humans and we need us so that we can protect the Amazon. And with your help and the fishing class, we're able to get one step closer to restore the Amazon. Fishing Clash is easy to play because you guys can cast out and wait for a bite and then reel that bad boy in. You guys can fish in competitions and you can play with friends and family. And with my gift code, Fish for Bear, in three steps, you'll get a three star rod, one mythical lure, a bunch of power ups to catch this big giant fish. So, what are you waiting for? Go download Fishing Clash with my link down below or with the QR code and see if you guys can catch a monster fish. The silver wood duck females out of her nest. Let's go see that nest real quick. I was walking over there and I heard chirping. I said, oh my God. And I saw the silver mom chasing around and acting all crazy and everything. I went over there and I found the little duckling in there. I looked down to the left and I saw five other ducklings. They already jumped out of the nest. I wasn't able to catch that on camera for you guys, but I was able to see all these ducklings. So it's been about 24 hours now and we're gonna enter and look around for them right now. Uh, just a few hours ago, I was checking them out and they were inside the water doing their thing moving around some of the first foods that these little baby ducklings would actually eat is duckweed but the way that this ecosystem is made the water flows so perfect that the duckweed would not be able to last in any way so what i'm actually going to be starting to do is every day so that there's a little bit of food inside of the water for these ducklings is i'm going to throw romaine lettuce inside of that's probably one of the most nutrients plants i could throw in there that can last for a few hours without going bad so check them out over here you guys can see all the stuff over the top. There's romaine lettuce and things on top of there right now. I actually do not see the mother right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is go walk around and see if we see the mom right now. She's actually a very, very protective duck. Uh, she flew at my face yesterday when, when I went over there to go see these little uh, babies. But come over here. Yeah, I really don't see her right now. So before we go find her and show you guys these gorgeous little ducklings, these ducklings, she had about 20 something eggs inside this next box. Seven of them six of them hatched on their own inside the box 
There was three others that were fertile that were chirping out, but she already jumped out. So the eggs sat in there and it got too cold. They would have died. So I brought them to one of my buddy's facilities. So I had to let them hatch out in there and let them go in the little border for right now until they're ready to go. And we might introduce them back to the mom and see if she takes them. If not, I'm going to have to hand reel them myself. The rest of the eggs were probably... Well, not probably. They were infertile. They weren't good. We candled them and they weren't good whatsoever. So out of all the eggs we had, six, seven, eight, nine, we had just about 10 eggs fertile out of the 20. So it's not too bad for the first time mom having her uh, little ducklings. So let's walk around this way and see if we see her. She was swimming all morning long, but it was really, really hot out. So I didn't really want to bother yet. And I want the mom and the, the mother mom and the ducklings to do her thing. And another cool thing too, before we go find her, come over here. Look inside that box. Not a happy mother right there. The ringtails, the Bolivian ringtails have just started nesting. They already laid all their eggs and there is a mother in there right now. And this trumpeter is not going to be, you see, you see, back it up. Look at the trumpeter looking inside the box. He's like, what is that? What is that? I see something in there. I see something in there. They are one curious little freaker. I'll tell you that much. All right. So that was her nest box over there. And as you guys know, we have a bunch of foliage all around low laying bushes all around in this area so that these ducks get hatch when well, i hatch, be comfortable around so i'm not the one holding the camera right now so cassandra head over there and show me what you see so jk i'm grabbing the camera and we're gonna see what we see so here we go she's not gonna be a happy mama but there she goes she's moving her babies over she's gonna attack the trumpeter if the trumpeter gets too close uh-oh told you aggressive mom right there she does not like she does not like other people around she's very very protective you see the trumpeter right now flapping its wings doing that flutter right now that's like a warning display of some sort i've been learning a lot about these trumpeters from just observing them inside the enclosure and as you can see she's not happy the duck's not happy and now there's gonna be a duck fight so what we're gonna do is stay away come here poncho leave him alone let's walk away so you guys just saw that we had to stop the camera because of the fact of, like I was just mentioning, I am learning a lot about these birds. I've never had these birds in my care before. Anybody could tell you different things, but every animal in this world is different than another animal that you have. So check it out right there. I don't know if you can see. Mom is gonna run right now very, very quickly into the water because that is the safe spot right now to stay away from the trumpeters. There they go, bounce all in. So there they go. So what happened is if she likes that corner over there, she's safe in that corner over there. But because Poncho and Pinky are very protected of me, I walked over there. She tried Poncho. Poncho fought back. We don't want that. So obviously, we're going to let them be. We're not going to uh, be around them at all. And we'll get back to you guys in a few days to hopefully hope that all these hatchlings survive and do well. We don't want to intrude with them at all. And we just want to do the thing. This enclosure is big enough that they will be fine and they can stay away. There's hiding spots and everything. And Poncho and Pinky most of the time stay in the front of the enclosure and they can stay in the back of the enclosure. And on top of that, Poncho and Pinky do not go in the water. So if they needed to be on the beach and on the sides, they could do that. We're just gonna add a bunch of little feed spots around so that these ducklings can eat without going to the main feed spots where Poncho and Pinky are mostly at. Obviously, he wasn't gonna back down and she actually kind of lost, not gonna lie. She freaked out and took the babies inside. So you can see the babies over there. They're okay, everything's all right. But a baby could be in the middle of the fight and then bad things can happen because Poncho could unfortunately kill one of the babies because he didn't know what happened. He, he was not going to back down as you guys see. But we'll get back to you guys in a few days. And we're back. It's a little more than a few days. It's actually been a week and a few days. And uh, we have good and we have bad news, unfortunately. Um, as you guys know, we made this aviary predator proof. Really, no animals get into here at all. Um, but we have other animals that live inside of this enclosure as well that coexist with each other. But unfortunately, some of the animals in here didn't want to coexist with the new little ducklings that we had. So I thought the suspect was going to be the trumpeters right here. These little guys, as you guys see, little trumpeters. Because if you guys know, we have some reptiles that live inside of this enclosure. And the reptiles that we have are giant black wood turtles and hillarized side neck turtles and a few albino red ear sliders so what i suspect and what i think most likely what it was was unfortunately the hillarized and the black wood turtles they ate all of the silver wood ducks in just under three days um 
people are probably gonna say, why didn't you pull them? Why didn't you do this? Why you didn't do that? So first off, I thought it was maybe the trumpeters, but then it wasn't the trumpeters because if it was the trumpeters, they would have been running around with them, having them in their mouth, playing with them, throwing them around, feathers would have been there, blood would have been there, it wasn't them. Then I thought it could have been other ducks and the other ducks were scaring off the mom and then um, making the other ducks pretty much kill them and then they probably just would have floated up or could have probably been that and then the turtles could have ate him. But what I think it really was, as you guys saw, the mother duck really, really liked to hang out right next to this big old container right there or that that trough. And that trough right there is where all the turtles love to stay. So what I was thinking is when the mom would run by, chase off the other ducks, babies would be there, turtle come up, gulp, eat it whole. So unfortunately, now we know we are not going to be able to really keep any small baby ducklings inside of here until they're about two to three weeks old so they have a little bit of size and they're able to get away so the silver mom is right there underneath that uh green elephant leaf looking tree with her boyfriend and they already bonded back up so that's a good thing it's still actually kind of early in the season here and we might be able to get lucky and might be able to have silver ducklings once more so yeah that's the news we lost all the freaking silver ducklings and just under three days i wanted to wait to see if anybody else was going to hatch out and i'm going to explain what we're going to do so as you guys know how we built this apiary we have another enclosure inside of there so what we're going to have to do is put a couple small bowls inside of there of water and every single time these babies are hatching we'll put the mothers inside of there as well but put it down in the comments you guys does anybody here keep exotic waterfowl or any types of other species of waterfowl how do you guys uh raise up these baby ducklings this is my first time raising up these ducklings with farm ducks you can raise them up just like chickens you put them on top of some mesh and they raise up quickly but i know these exotic ducks they're a lot 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 much difficult to raise up as ducklings i know they just are a lot more sensitive and all of that stuff so put it down in the comments if you guys know anything about this i want to see what your experience is because reading it offline and all that could be different than real life experiences so tell me down in the comments what you guys think but some of the positive news i'm going to flip the camera and show you guys what's going on so the white cheek pintail male that is right there they're from the bahamas she the female is on a nest inside of the green island ficus over there so she's at around about eight to ten eggs good plus right there right another good thing is the ring teals we have a mother that is right there behind the swing and then we have a mother all the way in the front by that enclosure they are both on about 10 eggs each so that is a plus as well so that is three more mother ducks uh on eggs and and then another positive thing is i didn't think they're gonna nest this year i thought they were gonna be the first ones but then now they became the second ones uh as you guys know we had uh two male mandarins and one white female the white female and the mandarin that came with her with him they were supposed to be the oldest ones and i thought they're gonna be the first ones to nest they were the first ones jumping in and out of the nest boxes but to be real they never laid any eggs so we got another female a little farther back during the whole pond build and everything and she is actually inside where the silver nest was at and the mandarin males up top he is all ugly now <whistles> he is not pretty he's completely out of breeding colors and he has completely molted but inside of that box right there we'll go show you guys well we don't have to show you guys you guys could just trust me inside of there we have a mandarin female so we're gonna have some mandarin babies as well which is a plus so we have out of the one two three four five six different species of waterfowl that are inside of here we have had five of them nest already the only ones that have not nested yet are the white face tree ducks they have not nested yet they're the most aggressive ducks inside of here they're the most destructive ducks inside of here they freaking mess everything up but they're really really neat they call a lot as you guys saw in the other videos they call other tree ducks come around and everything but they have not nested yet but i might have spoken too soon now that i'm actually looking around they are over there behind that oak tree so we're gonna walk over there right now and see if they made a made a nest inside of that uh, low growing bushes let's go check it out and see what we see and i just want to throw this in here just because for my factor um i know a lot of people are probably like why are you doing so many sponsorships and so many commercials and all that well if you didn't know and I, I like to be real with you guys all if you guys didn't know sponsorships do pay or they give back product and many of these do pay so when they pay they sponsorship the video and then with the money that i'm able to get from these sponsorships i'm able to throw back into the ranch and throw back into projects to make the ranch that much more better if that even made sense um yeah so every time we do a sponsorship just know that behind the scenes behind this video behind this camera 
there is something else that's going on. And something that might be going on is if you see that real big building in there, yeah, I've been talking about it for a few months now, but we had to get the otter enclosure done first. And inside of there, we have something very, very special that's gonna be announced in hopefully less than a month. So stay tuned for that. But let's go check out and see where these white faces are, even though they're right there and they walked away from the piece of log, but they're right there on top of that oak right there, just hanging out. And um, they haven't really showed any nesting anything they've just really stayed together i haven't seen them leave each other in any way so there's really no signs of them nesting anywhere. i haven't seen anything maybe they just want to wait until next season i'm not too sure but the environment here is perfect for them they love it here i mean it's absolutely amazing everything is growing spectacular inside of the enclosure i absolutely love this enclosure i hope you guys do if you guys want to see anything else inside of this enclosure put it down in the comments i have a couple more species of birds i would like to put in here at the end of this year i don't want to put them in here right now because all the ducks are nesting and i just don't want to go out and buy other animals for no reason when i have other projects i gotta finish and i want to make this ranch to the t before we go out i wanted this enclosure done we got this enclosure done and we got some amazing birds in here already for you all so now I want to let everything just grow in one full rainy season and then get back into getting some more birds. The Turocos are doing absolutely amazing as well. As you see, that's the male right there. He always bites fingers and then his girlfriend is back over there. The breeder I got him from said they will not breed this season. They will breed next season. So I can put some nest boxes in here if I would like to, but they're really not going to get used. So next season, pretty much the time when I got them. I'm gonna put some bamboo nest boxes around the different parts of the enclosure. So hopefully we'll be able to get some white crested turocos to lay some eggs. And that's gonna be absolutely amazing because personally, I don't wanna sell any of them. I think they're so, so, so neat. And to have a little colony of these guys inside of the enclosure, inside this aviary, six to eight of them bouncing around, flying everywhere, I think it'd be spectacular. So um, other than that, that was the update of the silver wood ducks. Um, they hatched. We know that the parents are good parents as in they're able to breed correctly, they're fertile and all that stuff, but we're definitely gonna have to collect all the babies, kick the Tarokos out. We're gonna probably put a nest box, not a nest box. We're gonna put a feeder right about here on the strawberry tree in the shade um, and then clock, lock up the babies inside of here. If we're not gonna put them here, we have another area uh, in the back that we might put them in. I'm not too sure yet, but we're gonna have to figure it out quickly because we are probably a week away before we have one, two, three nests that are gonna hatch. So put it down in the comments for you guys and let me know what you guys think will be the best way to raise up these exotic waterfowl because unfortunately we're not gonna be able to raise them up with the mothers or if we do we're gonna have to move the mothers to the side but the problem is is that if we put four mothers inside of this one nest right here there's gonna be a lot of fights going on and then the babies are gonna confuse babies are gonna be in the middle of fights and that's gonna be dangerous for them as well so we're probably not gonna want to do that either so we're gonna have to figure it out and i'm gonna figure it out it's not wrong figure everything out and then we got these pain in the butts right here. These little pain in the butts. They're probably not going to nest until another year or so as well. But you never know. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and uh, Pancho will be a good breeder. So I know some might be mad, but some might be happy for both and both reasons. But I hope you guys will give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put the post notifications on. And don't forget to click the link down below to go play Fishing Clash, you guys. To go help support the ranch, you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.